The first person of any note that I remember meeting was the great basketball coach Nat Holman. I met him when I was eight years old. My parents decided to send me to Camp Scatico in Upper State, New York, and it was a basketball camp owned by the great coach Nat Holman. I recall being scared and lonely, felt out of place, and I went to see Mr. Holman. And rather than dismiss me, there were hundreds of boys there, he said, look, from now on, if you just want to talk, and you feel frightened, see me. Don't, don't talk to your counselor, who was not a very nice young man, probably in his 20s, see me. And the interesting thing was he really meant it. And he didn't treat me like an eight-year-old kid, you know how you talk down to a kid. We would just sit and talk about different things. And he told me about his life and being a great basketball coach, and uh, it turned me around. Interestingly enough, 35 years later, I find myself interviewing him. He was in New York City and I was in Los Angeles. And it meant a great deal to me uh, to be back in those welcoming arms again, if you would. He's a very easy man to talk to. Uh, there's no BS, it's just direct. And I have a, had a high regard for him. So now let's listen to Nat Holman. Do you believe that all basketball is a pattern, Mr. Holman? Well, listen, uh, as far as a pattern is concerned, if there is a pattern, it's done on a team basis. Yes. And someone is uh, skilled in performance, knows how to reach these boys uh, so that they play as a team. And team basketball is, is dangerous basketball. Yes. It's winning basketball. And the other part is, is just a selfish game for individuals uh, to obtain points to make the headlines. That's right. And you don't, you don't believe in that? I absolutely not. It's not going to get you anyway, anywhere in the long run. Yes. And one thing about your players, they knew how to play all four corners of the, of the, of the court and the middle also, didn't they? Well, they utilize the space available at the time the ball was in their hands. Yes, yes. And, and you didn't believe in excessive dribbling and fancy passes? You didn't believe in any of that, didn't no, you? I did not. Yeah. No, yeah. And, and, and anybody that's over-dribbling when they should release that ball, give it up. See? Yes. Uh, was criticized at some future time. I understand. And how close would you get to your players? A lot of times the coach almost becomes like a father figure. Were you kind of a father figure to your men? Well, let's, let's put it this way. As far as I'm concerned, they're all my boys. Yes. And anything I can do to help them, I'd be a source of joy. Yes. Also, I want them to know that if anything is not right, be prepared for me giving them criticism like a father to a son. Yes. And that was done religiously. I said, listen, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm trying to help you. And I think they understood that. They sure did. How about if a player disagreed with you or your strategy, would you listen to him if he had a, a suggestion? Well, as far as I'm concerned, after I used up all my um, qualities to bring him around, see? Yes. I then would sit him out, regardless of how the game was going. In other words, I may have been ten points out front. I'd keep him out. Yes. And I, I wanted him to know it, see. And I didn't talk, tell him that, see, but he knew. Sure. He knew. Sure. And uh, uh, the cause for that action is his attitude towards uh, team play. Yes. That was the most important thing you stressed was the team was the important thing. Absolutely. Not the individual. Well, now let me put it this way. The, the, as far as the individual is concerned, I'm very much interested in the individual. Yes. His future career, the things that he's doing at the present time, keeping up with his studies. Yes. A good, a good homeboy with his family. 
those are all very important to me. Sure. And if, if I knew any, he was weak in any one of those areas, I would try to get him at some time, as I would uh, listen with my own family. Sure. So if one of your boys had a problem, let's say at home, or a personal problem, yeah. could he come to you and discuss it? If, if he didn't come to me, I would find out. You would find out about it? I would find out about it, and then I'd have him come to me anyway. I'd, I'd, I'd want to see him. Yes. Because it, that part of it will, will also affect his game. That's right. If he's unhappy at home, he's not going to be good on the court, is he? Exactly. Yes. If he's having trouble with his parents or he's uh, got a, a personal problem, he's not going to be a good basketball player. That's right. Because uh, probably your, your greatest moment came when your Beavers swept to the NCAA and the NIT crown for the first time in history. Yeah. Uh, that, that must have been a real highlight for you, Mr. Holman. Well, it, uh, it was. This is uh, in one way... Uh, yeah, picked up all the marbles. That's exactly what you did. I I remember the basketball world was astounded when when you when you did this. Yeah, well, we were all very happy about it. The boys uh, were given full recognition and applause and gratitude and thanks by the college as well as the professors. Yes. And they came right on back and did their work at home at school. I went after that too. I said, you'll be the greatest if you, if, if, if you, you are the greatest now. You could be the weakest if you fall down in your studies. Yes. Because that's all you were interested in is basketball. Because uh, y you wanted to make sure they were well-rounded. They should be not just basketball players, but good students also. I'm thinking of their future. Yes. And a lot of them didn't have a future in basketball. They might become uh, doctors or lawyers or... That's right. You're so right. Yes. Yes. And, and, and really, uh, this was the greatest single feat in collegiate basketball at the time, wasn't it? Well, I'll tell you, Here, uh, I thought it was a, it was a great uh, victory in all that it meant for City College. Yes. Uh, I, I want to leave the other beautiful pledges and thanks gratitudes uh, to the public or to the press. Yes. I don't want it to come from me uh, because I don't think mine should be limited in words. That's right. Do you remember your great center, Ed Roman, who was about 6'6"? Six, six? I remember Ed very well. Yes. H how good a player was he, Mr. Holman? Ed was a good basketball player. He uh, was the type that uh, didn't have the speed as much as some of the other centers did. Yes. He was a good ball handler, and a good uh, board man. By board man, I mean getting that ball off the backboard, see? Yes. He's very unselfish. And he just liked the speed that the other fellows had. But he's bo he was not deficient in ball handling, see? Yes. He uh pretty decent fellow. Decent fellow. Boys on a team like that. Yes. But uh, when you're picking on certain men, there's a certain plus somewhere uh, on the on the blackboard. Yes. Uh, that's, that stands out. That uh, keeps puts that man up front. I understand. And of course, you you had another uh, uh, great player in Ed Warner. Ed Warner was a boy from up around Harlem. Ed was a good basketball player. He got his experience from coming up from the Harlem Globetrotters. Yes. And he uh, was up playing in, in Harlem in the playgrounds. And uh, he got around a good deal in, in, the, in the off season. Yes. And I think that all helped. In addition to that, I found him very cooperative and uh, he was very obedient. And again, I say, if he or anyone else didn't fall in line, I was I was a tough taskmaster. That's what I understand. Uh, I, 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 there's nothing personal. I'm trying to develop a good student. 
Yes. And that's all. If they accuse me of that, of that being bad tactics, then I'll, I'll take anything they give me. I understand. You, 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 I, but I think you always treated your players fairly. They couldn't accuse you of, uh, of, uh, of playing favorites or being... Uh, right. You always were fair. I'm glad to hear you say that. Y I think so. Yes, yes.